What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another giveaway video and we're going to be checking out the new robot as well. So if you would like to enter the giveaway, drop down the video's description, all the rules and regulations and everything will be in the description and it'll explain everything you need to do. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and remember, don't fall for the scammers. I will never ask you for money for a prize. If you see that, that's not me, that's a scammer. So this week's giveaway is three of the Discordias. Unfortunately, there is only three, but that's what Pixonic gave us this time. But these are the Titan weapons that bend around corners and these things are really 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 good so we're gonna go do some gameplay with this robot and the new weapons on the test server we're gonna check it out afterwards i'll give you my thoughts and my my audio got messed up there's no audio so i guess i'm just gonna have to do a voiceover and uh yeah let's go do the gameplay and if you want to enter the giveaway drop down the video's description all the rules and regulations and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do make sure you follow the instructions but let's go check this thing out and good luck on the giveaway we've only got three but hey three people are going to get something really cool so let's go do it to it all right what's up guys we are dropping in on the map over here and so far what i noticed about this little dude is it's extremely fun it is a really fun robot to play it has a 350 meter range and it teleports from enemy to enemy now these new weapons have a 100 meter range, so you have to be really, really close to the enemies, but they're very powerful. This thing is crazy fun to play. I'm really enjoying it a lot. I mean, I like this thing. This thing is super duper fun. All right, so let's go ahead and head over this way, and we're going to teleport in just a second once we get in range 350, and here we go. But bam so we're melding that Ochi Kochi. He did some sort of we weird healing or something, which is the only reason he lived. And then he wanted to do a phase shift. So, it is what it is. Let's teleport over to this guy. So, right now I'm testing the uh, range. And you definitely can't hit anybody for, for over 100 meters, right? This is the shortest range weapon we've ever had. But the damage is brutal. So, now we're going to teleport to this guy. And I'm not really sure what just happened there. Because I teleported to a person and they were gone. Did, did that person... Where did they go, right? Where did that person go? I think they must have... I, I, I don't know. Maybe it was a game glitch, or maybe they dashed or something. But let's let's try and melt this Skyros with these new weapons. And, uh... I don't know. We're gonna move on. There's somebody. Zap! Zap! That guy went dead. That guy went dead. That was like a really fast double kill. Unfortunately, those dudes are like spawning in, and I'm just wrecking them as they spawn. This is a little bit too much. Look, we just got a couple more guys. I mean, this is ridiculous. Another one. All right, they finally took me down. Now, I will say this robot is very squishy. It dies very easily. So what I've noticed is I, I have a really good run, and I seem to bring in the next one and have a bad run. So it's really squishy. It dies very easily. That's something you need to keep in mind is how fast, how quickly this thing goes down because it's like a... It's like a box of eggshells, man. Look, bam, killed one really quick. Uh, almost got a second one there, and then I died. So run number two didn't work out so well. So let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pause this and come back in with a brand new robot on a brand new game. So there we had 2.3 million damage and seven kills. So that's pretty good. All right, game number two, game number two, game number two. So I'm going to bring this thing right in the center. And if somebody goes for the center beacon, we're just going to try and zap them really quick. So we're going to wait to teleport. I mean, this thing is like the scorpion on steroids, guys. This is like scorpion overpowered times 10. So if you guys like playing the scorpion, I'm pretty sure you're going to like this little robot. It is absolutely fun and amazing. So I don't know what it's going to be like on the live server. Just remember, this is a test server. So what they're basically doing is testing things out and deciding what they want to do with it when it goes live. We just killed two people right there. That was, we killed two people at the same time, guys. So these weapons can shoot more than one person, which is crazy. All right, there's teleport number two. We just got a triple kill in like three seconds, right? This is probably going to be very dangerous and very overpowered. And I think this robot's probably going to end up making people rage quit. If it's anything like this on the live server... It is going to make people rage quit. They're gonna, they're gonna be, they're gonna hate life having to deal with this thing. But again, there we go with the really, really, really short weapon ability or weapon range, right? You, you hardly have any range there. All right, rampage, ba bam, and we got an assist on that one. So 
someone zapping me, so I'm probably gonna go down quickly because it is squishy, right? There we died, right? You gotta play this thing very carefully. I think you just wanna get in, strike, and leave. Just like what you do with a normal scorpion. Get in there, do your thing, and get out as quickly as possible because it'll die really fast if they get you in a corner. All right, but the thing is, you can you can kill them so quickly with this setup, you can almost take them by surprise. Now, once you're going up against robots that have pilots and all the bells and whistles and stuff, it might be a little bit different. You got to remember on the test server, there's no pilots to give these robots the extra durability. So everything on the test server is always really squishy. What I wish they would do is just set up a pilot, like a standard pilot, have all the skills already on it, and every robot gets the same pilot. That way you could have your, you know, your... I don't know, you're a tough guy on every robot, your armor expert on robot, just like the four or five basic skills that make the robot more durable that everybody would be running anyways. It would be nice if they would set up a pilot and everybody would just have that those skills on every robot. You wouldn't have to like get the pilot and level it up. That's what I wish they would do. All right, so there we have it. Again, make sure you drop down the video's description and follow all the rules and stuff to, to get into the giveaway. And this is a really, really crazy robot. This will probably be coming out into the game within the next, probably, I would say within the next two weeks, we'll probably see this live in the game. That's just my guess. Could be sooner, could be later. I don't know, but somewhere in the next 10 to 15 days, I would say. This is definitely what I would call a Scorpion 2.0. It's it's just brutal. If it's anything like the test server, it is going to be a nightmare on the battlefield. It's just going to bounce around and obliterate everything. I think this will be the new meta. This will probably destroy the Ochi Kochis. It'll destroy pretty much anything. I mean, it's, it's probably going to be nuts. Like I said, you know, there's no pilots on the test server, so it's hard to know exactly how these weapons and this robot's going to do against other things until it actually goes live. Never judge anything too much by the test server, but those are just my initial thoughts. I think this is going to be super fun for sure, but it's probably going to be a powerhouse brutal beast with the right weapons as well, but we'll find out. We will find out once it actually goes live, but so far... I think everybody's going to really love playing this and hate playing against it. So anyways, yeah. Good luck on the giveaway. Again, we're not giving these away out, but we are giving away those Titan weapons. So I hope you guys win. Unfortunately, there's only three. So that's a very, very small giveaway. I don't know why. Sometimes they give us three of something. Sometimes they give us five. Sometimes it's seven. But hey, it is what it is. Three people are going to get something really good. So yeah, just make sure you follow the rules. Drop down the video description, you'll see the rules. If you do me a big favor, smash that like button. That would help me out big time. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Lightning out. See ya.